Okay, I'm gonna be teaching you for whom the bell tolls by Metallica. Now the intro. You can either play it play it palm muted or or not, it sounds cool both, but I usually play it palm muted. It's gonna be the second fret power chord on the sixth string, palm muted or open, however you wanna play it, uh, it doesn't matter. And you're gonna strike strike it uh, four times, but it's gonna be in two uh, it's going to be two part increments, if that makes sense. Makes sense. So it's going to be. So it's going to be. And then it's going to be an open E. And, and eventually, as the intro goes on, it will go to open. You won't have to palm mute it. But you're not gonna, when uh, when you're not palm palm muting it, you're not gonna let the notes ring. You're gonna kill kill them. So it's gonna be. But you're always going to let the E ring. Okay. Now, I believe the next part is... What that's going to be, is it's gonna be a rundown of, uh, it's gonna be a rundown and, an, and, a, and, uh, and up the power chords too. So it's gonna start, and it's all gonna be palm muted. So you're gonna start off with the E, but it's gonna be palm, palm muted, to the third fret power chord on the sixth string, to the second, to the first, okay, and then back, back to the E. I'll play it slow. Okay, now that little run up the. Uh, That's going to be the open E to the second fret power chord on the sixth string, to the third, to the fifth. And you can either play that palm muted or open, but if you're gonna play it open, just yeah, you're not gonna let it ring. You're gonna you're gonna kill it, just like the intro. So So all together we got and then you're going to finish it off with an open E. And you're going to let, let that ring. And then it gets into the, the main riff. Okay, now what that's going to be is you're going to be chugging on uh, the E string, the 6th string, palm muted. And you're going to hit, strike that twice. Sorry, three, three, three times you're going to strike that. And you're going to hit the third fret power chord on the sixth string. Then you're going to do the exact same pattern, except you're going to go to the fifth fret uh, power chord on the sixth string. So you got. And then you're going to do that exact same pattern again, and you're going to come back to the third fret power chord. So now we got. Except you're not going to let that one ring, you're, you're going to kill it. But you're not going to palm mute it, you're going to kill it just. So now we got. And then, right after that, you're going to go down to the first fret power chord on the fifth string. Then you're going to go back up 
to the second fret power chord on the sixth string. So now, so now we got. Okay. Now the next part of that riff is going to be. What that's going to be, it's pretty much the same pattern. You're going to. Except you're going to throw in some palm mutes. Two more palm mutes. And then you're going to go to the first fret power chord on the fifth string. You're going to just hit it and then kill it. And you're going to go to the second fret power chord on the sixth string to the first fret power chord. So now we got. I'll play that slow. Sorry. Okay. Now all together. Okay. Now that little uh, doo -doo 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 kind of thing that Kirk Hammett does, the okay, that might look tricky, but it's actually not. It's actually I've seen some diff d different uh, tabs for it, and it's like you're going all the way up and all the way down. But this way is pretty simple. Um, you're gonna plant one finger. You're gonna put your your index finger on the third string ninth fret and it's going to be glued there you're, you're not going to move it and then you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to put it on the 12th fret okay on that same string and you're going to strike the 12th fret to the ninth and then you're going to hit the 11th fret on the same string okay and then you're going to move up to the fourth string and you're going to hit the 12th fret. So now we got. Then you're going to go to the ninth fret again. To the 11th. To the 12th. To the 9th. To the 11th. Play it one, one last time slow and then record speed. Okay, record speed. Okay, that has to be one of the most trickiest riffs to keep going when you're playing with uh, the song. Okay, and now, the, and now the, the thing that James does behind that. It's going to be open E to the third fret power chord on the sixth string. Then you're going to strike that again, but you're going to kill it. Back to the E. Back to the third fret power chord. Then to the eighth fret power chord on the sixth string. To the fifth. Back to the E. So now we got. going to be the exact same riff as the verse riff when he starts singing like uh, however the lyrics go biggest fight right 
that's going to be the exact same same thing as the verse riff. Now, I believe we are at the end of the... Now what you're going to do is you're not going to fully palm mute that. You're going to kind of half palm mute it. You, you can play it, just oh, uh, open it if you want. But I usually half palm, palm mute the thing and make makes it sound cool. Maybe I should tell you what that is. <laughs> it's gonna be, um, I believe it starts on the E, but it can also start on the second fret power chord. So I'm gonna show show it to you that way, and then you can put it put it into the song as however it is. So it's gonna be the second fret power chord. Half palm mute it. Don't full fully palm mute it. You're gonna half palm palm mute it to the E. Then you're gonna go two more to the third, and back to the E. Come